Welcome, my name is Tony Hogan. I'm a working artist, have been all my life. Today I'm lucky enough to be creating a piece of work for you using the Derwent Intense Pan Paint and one of their graphic line marker black pens. Using the uh, bright blue from the pan set and the Derwent water brush, I put in some blue sky leaving areas of white for the cloud. Dramatic effects in art are created by being bold with darks and lights. So now I'm going to take some of the Payne's Grey and come alongside this light area here where the trees and the bushes are all in shadow. This light coming through from the back where the sun is rising actually catches these areas. So let's bring in some lighter colour. And here I'm using the kiwi green. I'm going to keep working now on this whole area developing lights and darks before I come lower down here. It won't be long before I come here because I'll need this beautiful purpley coloured dark down here to make this stand up. Moving forward, I'm interested now in bringing some of the lovely blue sky onto this slate here particularly, which reflects the light. This is slate, so it catches loads of different colours. So again, returning to the navy blue, I start and roughly painting these areas. This is all done with a very pale wash at this stage. We will come back and strengthen this. in tonal values as the work progresses. With several areas of wash applied here, gradually strengthening tone, I'm now going to introduce the uh, Derwent graphic line marker in black. This happens to be a 0.5 size I'm using, plenty of options. See how even at this stage, a few simple lines dramatically strengthen the image. Constantly balancing the work <coughs> is very important. As we've started to introduce some dark lines here, giving great punch to the work, I feel that this tree here, which in itself is going to be one of the vital important areas, needs to be introduced. Finding and resolving all these shapes, nooks, crannies and colours is a very slow process. Using the navy blue and the black, I bring in this dark shadow area under the formation of these large pieces of slate before moving forward. Notice how, and then all around the bottom of this long, flat piece of slate, Seen the fracture line in there. This large chisel brush I do find easy to work with. With this large flat piece of slate, kept very light, good deep darks underneath and a warm dark on the left hand side where I've added a little bit of iron oxide, red iron oxide into the mix. Keep it warm, it now stands up. But behind here is perhaps one of the darkest areas of the paint, one of the most shadowed. So I'm going to take black, actual black. And you should notice as I bring this in, how it pushes this area forward. 
it's always the reaction of one colour or tonal value with another that brings life to your paintings. Consider that. Do not be afraid of dark. Still trying to develop this area, this uh, scree. So I'm using the pen again and putting random marks, different sizes, different shapes. Can you see how the construction of this painting naturally flows through, almost in a snake, a nest, through the painting? So the viewer is looking through the work and observing all the fine aspects of it. As you draw this scree, every little piece is a different shape, a different size. So there we are. I think this is probably completed now.